is National Pasta Day, and at Coco Pazzo, an Italian restaurant in River North, house-made pastas rotate with the seasons. Today, we are learning how to make our own pasta right at home. Executive chef Eric Hammond joins us now to break it all down, and they got some National Pasta Day specials and everything. This sounds so good. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. I, you've got a bunch of fun, a little accoutrement up here. What are we starting <laughs> with? Well, you know, I want to start with cutting of the pasta. Okay. Ah. So, you know, we make our pasta in-house. Mm -hmm. We feature a lot of different pastas, parpadelli, uh, tagliatelle, we make our own tortelli di zucca, we make our own potato gnocchi and our own tagliatelle Ooh. nere, it's a seafood pasta. Yeah. And we're making parpadelli today. Okay. 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 All so right. we rolled out the pasta very thin. Mm -hmm. It's a semolina dough. Okay. So, what I need you guys to do... Okay, yes. what is this little contraption this is, here? This is an accordion cutter. Oh, okay, okay. So all you do is you just come and take I'll it through. It. Yeah. Ooh. And take it through. Mm-hmm. Just like that, you see? Oh. It's looks harder to cut than I would have thought. Okay. Yeah. So well, because it's stacked. Oh, because it's We don't gotcha. have enough room here, yes. right? Yes, you probably have a big setup at the restaurant. Okay, yeah. apply a little just, pressure here. Apply a little pressure, exactly, and let's bring it down. There you mm. go. This is fun. Nice. And they're not How well through. did I do? They're not I did they're do not a good job. Cut through, okay. But, you know, we can break it down a little bit. Okay, let's break now, it down. While you're doing that, I'm going to start with the sauce. Oh, okay, great. A little so, olive oil? Little, well, I'm using this, I'm using blend oil 75% okay. canola oil, 25% extra virgin. Okay. okay. And we'll finish with extra virgin olive oil because that gives it a real nice deep flavor and uh, fruity and a little sheen too. I love that. Okay, okay. fantastic. So we take some garlic. Ooh. I love it. The more the better. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I did. just a little bit here, you know. And, and I'm surprised you didn't either smash it or chop it up a little bit. Well, I'll tell you the reason why. Please Once do. Once you chop it very fine, it exudes a lot more, it extracts a lot more oil, oh. so it's a lot more bitterness. Okay. You would think that with a bigger surface area, yeah, you yeah, would get more would, flavor. It would yeah. get more flavor, but no, that's not the case. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, keep that in mind. So, then, so does that stay in the dish, or are you just sauteing this, it a little no, while? No, this stays in the dish. Okay. You want to get it golden brown. Okay. Then you're going to add your mushrooms here. What kind of mushrooms are these? Um, this is I'm using cremini mushrooms, cremini mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, and button mushrooms, Yum. which are very easy to find at your local supermarket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We get salt. Generous amount of salt there. Fresh cracked pepper. Yeah. Mm. And this is just the sauce. This seems like a pretty simple sauce. It's a very simple sauce. Oh wow. Saute it. Oh, we forgot to add the butter. What? Of course. No, <laughs> just a little bit. So the butter gets nice. It'll get it nice and crispy. Do you use unsalted so that you can unsalted control the butter. amount of salt? Okay. Always cook with unsalted butter. Okay. Oh. So now we're gonna finish cutting this. I thought we did. No, no, you did. I didn't do so you good. You did a good job. Yeah. Okay. But it's very hard. Make sure it goes it all the way through. Yeah. You gotta go through. And is that just like semolina to... flour to keep it from sticking? Semolina, yeah. Oh, semolina. Thank you. Um, yeah, I was being a little too, too, uh, yeah, you're being gentle. Yes, yeah, too gentle. Yeah. Just rip that baby up. You yeah. know what, I have this. There, there you go, we'll use, use that. Even and the great thing about fresh pasta is it doesn't take very long to cook, right? That's about three minutes. That's it, oh, I love that. Mm. So you guys have pasta deals going on for National Pasta Day, we yes? We do. Tonight okay. we're doing a special 45, I believe it's $45. You get a tasting of three different pastas. You get the one we're preparing now. We're making a tonarelli cacio e pepe. Ooh, that sounds delicious. And we're delicious. making um, tagliatelle alla bolognese. Ooh, mm. So you take, it's a, a choice, uh, not a choice, but it's what? It's a trio. You, it's a trio, exactly. Yes, a trio I do love that. And then Amy alluded to this a little earlier. You guys switch out your pastas throughout the year. Yeah. To go along with the seasons? Seasonally, yeah. Yeah, to wow. go So the right now we're running with little chopped herbs. I'm using sage, rosemary, thyme, and... Um, Oregano. Okay. Uh, right. For instance, this pasta is a tortelli di zucca. It's a butternut squash filled oh, ravioli. Okay. Yeah, oh, that sounds good. We fill it with butternut squash and ricotta, and we cook it in a brown butter sage sauce. Yum. Oh yeah. And we top it with crumbled amaretti cookies. Really? Oh, yeah. Now that sounds, oh, that a, sounds a little sounds dessert. Delicious. Yeah. Huh. See, now you get nice and crisp. The mushrooms need to be nice and crispy. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, okay. It that gives it really a lot good. of flavor. Hit it with a little white wine. Okay. Oh. And that was very simple. Let that reduce a little bit. I feel like when you have good pasta like this, you don't need a lot of the this special fun things in the sauce. Yeah. And then we hit, we hit it with a little um, 
vegetable broth, you can use chicken broth, you can use porcini broth. If you could buy porcini, or you could make porcini broth, they, they sell dry porcinis at like Whole Foods or oh, okay. something like that. And all you really do is reconstitute it in some warm water. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let it sit for a while yeah, or you just, boil well, it? You, or... you bring it to the boil and. That's it. Huh? And just steep it. Okay. 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 Like tea almost. Yeah. Very much Very, like tea. I Very like that. Much. Okay. People are digging mushroom teas these days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's true. I think yeah. they're looking for something else though out of the mushroom though. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the different pastas that you guys make uh, fresh daily. Uh huh. So you were pointing out that these are some of them. So you say you got a guy. Yes. You got a guy. <laughs> and your I guy, got a guy. And your guy does like he, how many different a day? Uh, well, you know, these. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Or and we also run a pasta special usually, which is a different cut that we like to do a fresh pasta for. We'll do a stracci, or you know, I'll make a straccio preti or a peachy or something like that. Okay. A little bit more intricate stuff. Oh wow! Well, we have to go to Cosco Pasta to find out. And they have apparently a very good Italian wine selection there as well. Yeah, we're mm. having an award-winning wine list. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, from the Tre Bocchetti, you know, and we got. Two forks Ooh. on Trey Bacheri as well, which is the highest in Chicago right that now. That's wonderful, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm, this is smelling so delicious. Yeah, it here. smells great. And this mm. is not quite cooked yet. Well, ah, that's all right. We we'll have still also get into the it. The finished one is right here, too, so yeah. folks want to check out how it actually looks. Mm -hmm. So we take it, take it out. All right, you're, as you're plating that, I want to make sure everyone knows where to find you guys. On West Hubbard Street, you see the phone number, cocopazochicago.com is the website, and you can see the social media handles as well.